tomorrow let's take a look at the first game tomorrow it's going to be delhi capitals versus the rajasthan royals we just spoke about the tickets now yeah. uh let's just talk about the game itself now delhi do you think they're going to try and consolidate their position further they or have go to. easy no no they have to they have to because now what's happened is clearly whoever's coming in fourth place is out of it mm. so three players guys are fighting for number 1 and 2 mm. number 1 and 2 is a really big one because you won one match you're straight into the finals if you're number 3 and 4 you have to win two matches to reach the finals so now they'll be saying that boss we've got if we can whack rajasthan at home get our run rate up and mumbai lose their last match or go down and run rate in the next match then we are one and two with chennai and we go through so that's what they'll be looking for so it's an really important match for them rajasthan will be saying i'm keeping my hopes alive as long as possible i win this get on 13 i'm not bothered about run rate those two guys lose i'm in Hmm. So everyone has something to play with, and I, th- I think that's really important. That tomorrow's game, both teams have a lot to play for. <clears throat> It'll be interesting how they turn out, though. With now with Rabada not there, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's a class player, and there's their squad. Uh, I think the real problem for them, uh, and we saw it in the last game, didn't we? They they bowled 17 good overs, and in the last three, there was no Rabada in their unit, and Dhoni, um, you know, made hay yeah. while the sun shined. Or it wasn't the sun; it was the the was flood last <laughs> on at this stage <laughs> but one, yeah. but he smashed him and and I think that's where they really are going to miss Rabada he's picked up wickets in the early overs but he's done a really good job at the back end so they're going to have to be getting Morris and Bolt to to try and repeat um their exploits and see if they can improve on what they did last time around but I think they're in a better space than Rajasthan I think yeah. they've played better cricket uh, they're going to be at home they know what to expect Rajasthan sort of limped into a position where they could maybe through lack of all luck still qualify um, yeah. and i think with them losing some of the international players they're probably not in the best place so i would think delhi should have um, the advantage here uh we'll just take a look at the rajasthan royals uh, playing 11 as well actually the team itself because because i know that even they're going to be missing a couple of players uh, steve smith yeah. isn't around how much is that going to affect them surprisingly what's happened is that they've had they've had this huge you know <laughs> regeneration as as you call it you know they bowlers when they had their top bowlers like jofra and all they weren't doing so well suddenly what's happened out here is oshen thomas and varun aaron have given them something with the ball seriously given them something with the ball the other interesting thing that's happened is riyan parag you know this 17 year old kid has contributed he's bowled a bit he's batted maturely the only thing is who's going to be the captain again So now so you have report say Ajinkya Rahane is going to be the captain. So Ajinkya Rahane was the captain, okay? He's going to come back, yes. Yeah, so he had a situation where you know the pressure was too much on him or for whatever reason they removed him. The point is he's played brilliantly not as a captain. He's played brilliantly with the pressure off his back. He's he's really been a different batsman the last 3 4 innings. Now you've gone back to a situation where you're putting that monkey on his back again. So so I'm sure okay, that so if not him who's No, it it has to be. You have to go. There's no one looking at that list. Yeah. There's no one else to go to. Um, maybe just the fact that he's performed well mm-hmm. takes a little bit of um, of the pressure off his shoulders because he would have been worried about his performance through the RPL. He's had two or three good games now, so uh, I just think they might only have to play two overseas pros. I mean, I don't know if you're going to bring Turner in. It's not like he's been in massively <laughs> good form throughout this RPL. So you might just see the two, and maybe they go for another local guy. But that's why I just feel if you look at the squads. the teams that they could possibly pick you would think Delhi would have the advantage here do you see Ashton Turner just walking in and filling in that gap there Ashton Turner uh, yeah he's it took him about four innings to get a run in the IPL yeah. <laughs> he actually got three ducks before he got a run in the IPL no really exactly what he said this is as good a case as any for saying that if i don't have a great international pro out there let me just stay with what i have and let me do well with that similarly with delhi you know i really think on the conditions that they're playing tomorrow i think ishan should definitely get a bowl ahead of trent bolt because ishan does something to them ishan knows this surface very well again delhi is his surface rosha kotla is his home surface for playing ranji trophy and remember because he's not been in the india's one day plans at all yeah he's played quite a lot of inter- of domestic cricket So he knows this pitch upside down. He knows what it does. He's a senior pro. I might, you know, even give him that. And mm-hmm. instead of somebody like a Trent Bolt bringing a Kimo Paul, somebody who takes the, this thing off the ball, they might so also the, with the, the performance of Shaw Front, they might decide to give Munro a go. Yeah. And maybe Morris will miss out as well. And say to him, "Listen, you go at the top of the order. We've struggled to get off to a decent start. That's Here's your opportunity." So yeah, they've got a bit to work with. Whereas I think Rajasthan almost just. Yeah. 
pick who you've got. Yeah. <laughs> 11 pit boys, yeah. 11 bodies.